Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps, SRE, DevSecOps coach. I have uh, close to 18 plus years of experience working uh, in uh, multiple MNSEs around the globe and uh, having in-depth knowledge of DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, so I would like to introduce you uh, one certification program in a DevOps and that is we, we call it DevOps Certified Professional. Uh, now this is a two months of program, 25 tools uh, of DevOps you will learn. And uh, apart from that, you will also get the access to the LMS, lifetime access to the videos portal. It's a certification program and uh, you will have 25 assignments and two projects along with it. It's a completely weekend program. So here you have uh, classes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so as part of this course, you will learn multiple things. Here you see that uh, you will learn Linux, AWS, Docker, Jira, Confluence, Python, Git with GitHub, SonarQ, Maven, Gradle, Packer, Artifactory, Selenium, Jmeter, Ansible, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, Jenkins, Datadog, Splunk, and Neuralink. Uh, now, how do we, uh, you know, apply for this? So how can you reach out to us? So you have a WhatsApp number and email ID. So please uh, reach out to us and we'll help you to onboard this program. Uh, apart from this uh, DevOps certified professional programs, we are offering other certifications as well in a DevSecOps, SRE and uh, one of the very, very comprehensive programs which we have is in, ma is in Master in DevOps Engineering. Yeah, so feel free to get in touch with us and then uh, end all for it. Thank you. 192.168.1.48 root or Rajesh let me here yeah. so all of you can see my screen right yes yes okay okay so now guys uh, simply you will download this file okay and extract it this is the tarball so you will add sorry not this alert manager so this is a prometheus so this you will download this file and extract it so i have done it actually so just to save time it's in previous session so this is the prometheus okay and extract it using tar x x cv you need to get this one here this is the one now this all installation instructions you have here also so install the wget download it extract it cd all this thing you have and these are the uh, files you get it here okay now in this prometheus uh, most important file which you have is this one okay this is the prometheus.yaml so this is the file which you write uh, this is the file which you write every scrapping things let me show you so here see here so here how frequently prometheus should scrap it the endpoint here it is set scrap interval 15 seconds okay and if you go bottom sections here, see, this is the scrap configurations. That means this is the job name Prometheus and job name Prometheus and scrapping. This is the one, okay? So target which they are scrapping this endpoint. There is another job name Linux scrapping these two endpoints. Okay, so this is the way you write. So here Linux two endpoints is being scrapped. Now Apache here, if you see, these are the three machines, I guess two machines. There's some, uh, yeah, two machines actually. So it's being scrapped. Just give me two seconds. So this is a very important file which we have Prometheus dot YAML. Okay, so any configurations you will do, you will do to 
this this value. Are you understanding all of it? Yes. Okay. So now this is the file which you see is a file for starting the Prometheus and stopping the Prometheus. And all the Prometheus data which you have scrapped, you will store it here. Okay. And prom tool, the one which you see, is to check the the syntax and all uh, of this file, and many other checks are also there slowly you will get comfortable with it so this is the start so now how do we start it so you can check the versions here and you can start just become comfortable with the prometheus.yaml and here start the prometheus servers in a background so this you can use it okay so basically you can use this command also directly to start it but you lose the console so if you run like this you will not lose the console okay you can create a service also uh, of the prometheus in this file only somewhere downside you will be having that code but right now this is more than needed so here done now you see that simple grep prom this is the prometheus so prometheus running and now you want to access it so you want to access it on the port number 9090 so let's access on 92 14 9090 correct uh, let me get a confirmation 9090 here it is Okay, so this is a Prometheus. Now this Prometheus, the one which you are accessing, is a basic uh, UI. Okay, so this is just to see that all the uh, matrix and all. It's not advanced one. Advanced uh, graphing uh, graphing tool you can use for graph matching. So did you understand that how to install the Prometheus, all of you? <clears throat> yes okay so after installing the prometheus now you have to uh, set up a exporter multiple exporter like linux exporter apache exporter and so on depends on your need okay hundreds of exporters are there here so which exporter to set up so you, let's say if you want because i have i'm using linux right so i want the linux one so i will go for it node exporter this is the one you see this is the official exporter this code you can download probably from here also uh, see node exporter so you have available node exporter for linux and mac why because node exporter only <clears throat> export the uh, linux machine so there is a windows exporter also you have it if you want to here it is Windows export. Okay, so what to do? Node exporter download this tarball. I have already downloaded. Just saving time. Here, this is the node exporter tarball. When you ex extract it, you will see something like this. Here. Okay. So download this and then run this. This you can run as a service also. Now, how to make it a service? All this code you will see here only. So if you see that there's some more learnings you have it go through that <clears throat> now if you want to create prometheus server as a service then refer this document okay so here if you refer this document see this is the code which will allow you to create a service of the prometheus but right now not complicated now this part which you have installed and configure prometheus node exporter is in rga so download and ex, uh, download and extract it and look at this here run this like this this is the straightforward way but if you want to run as a service you can use that this code actually okay so now let me simply start this node exporter also so now i i will go here and run this command and start the node exporter 
are able to understand that all of you yes yeah and enter done so started the node also let's verify it's running or not so here grep node see here it's running so now node exporter where you can see so you can see on 9110 port so every exporter has a certain port number so you have to check that so 9110 it's a node exporter see here here you have all the matrices of the linux box okay all the matrices of linux box so now what to do so you will you will configure you will configure uh, prometheus to pull from this area okay so that will do that after some time on in one go only will do that so this is the node exporter okay so now that is the one exporter is done now i am going to set up also apache exporter okay so apache exporter how do you do that so first you have to install the apache so i think it's already installed in the server so you see here i try to install one more time and it will tell you this uh, product is already installed apache so like that whichever the product which you want to capture the uh, stats you have to install it and configure it okay so it's taking a little time to wait and determine the fastest mirror last time also we had the same problem yeah not sure why it's taking from last one month all of my vms is consuming lots of time Mm. So I need to replace all of my VM, or maybe something is is in my network actually. Not sure. So it's slow, but it's okay. So this is the Apache. So I have installed the Apache, okay, and in this machine HTTPD, and uh, I have a, I will start also. So let me open up a new console. Group Rajesh one two three. Which HTTP? See, it is already installed. Okay. Now what you can do? System CTL start HTTP. Done. So now it should be running on eighty port. Let me check. See here, it's running. Apache is running. So what to do next? so after that i need to uh, install the exporter okay so install the exporter so let's do that let's go to the opt and here there is a apache exporter here this this apache exporter i downloaded from that url and then extract it and now i will run this one the way i ran last time so here no hub dot this one and add percent that's all so now apache exporter so like that uh, you will configure all the exporter whichever way you whichever you want it this is still taking time there's some issues in my network i need to see that what is it okay anyways so this is the one so now i don't remember the port number for apache exporter so i'll just ask actually port apache so which port number the it is exposing uh, okay this is the 9117 so let me access 9117 here it is so this is the apache so now you see that apache is also exposing the matrix so like this actually i will ask you to set up exporter
If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.